Welcome to Plutus Project Based Learning 2023 from Gimbal Labs. We're glad you're here. In this video, I'll provide an overview for Learning Target 101.4. I can set up a local Plutus development environment using Nix and use it to compile a Plutus script. These are the steps we'll follow, but there's something important you need to know about this course. For each step, I'm going to show you how to get started and provide a few tips but I'm not going to walk through all of the fine details that you'll need to cover at each step. The idea of this project-based learning course is to give you places to get started so that you can try things. And if you get stuck, you can always join us at Live Coding or on Discord to ask questions. To be fair, we picked a tough one to throw you into right now. Experienced Plutus developers will tell you that setting up a local environment for writing Plutus TX might have been one of the hardest things they ever did while learning Plutus. This is one of the reasons why developers are so excited that new languages for writing to Plutus Core are coming online right now. And of course, we'll take a look at two of those languages, Aiken and PluTS, in the next two lessons. Still, we want you to have this option you're in a community with a lot of people who have taken these steps and we'll be happy to help you if you get stuck. Let's open some links. The first one is to the official Nix site, which we'll use for step one. The next link is to the Plutus apps repository. This is from Input Output HK on GitLab. And finally, the PPBL 2023 Plutus template that we used in lesson 101.3. So let's go step by step. You will know you are successful if you can compile a Plutus file from Plutus TX on your own computer. At the bottom of the page, you can follow along with these steps and also use the embedded links. For step one, just follow the instructions here. Use the download button, choose your operating system and what kind of installation you'd like to create, and read the docs carefully to make sure you get it right. If you are successful, you'll be able to run Nix, dash dash version, and you'll see that Nix is installed. The Nix documentation is very good, and there are some resources on this learn page that are worth running through, just so you have a basic idea of what Nix is and how it works. Next, we will clone the PPBL 2023 Plutus template from Gimbal Labs. I'm going to jump over to my terminal and create a new directory. We'll call it PPBL 2023 for this course. I can then CD into it. Here is a new empty directory, and I can clone the two repos right here. So first, I want the PPBL 2023 Plutus template from Gimbal Labs. You can just copy this command right here, and we'll do that. And then before I even CD into that one, Let's also clone the Plutus apps repo from IOHK. It'll take a few moments to clone Plutus apps because it's a big project, but once that's done, you should be able to see that both of these new projects are in your dedicated PPBL 2023 folder. And I'll continue to use a folder like this throughout the course as we add new projects and make changes to existing ones. Next, we can change directories into our new Plutus Apps project and then check out the latest version, which as of the making of this video is version 1.2.0. The documentation on this page will be updated more frequently than this video. So if you're watching this video a few months after March of 2023, please check down below to make sure that the version that we're using didn't change. Back to my terminal, I'll run these commands. cd into Plutus apps, and then git checkout v1.2.0. Now we're on the correct branch, and this is where the fun starts. As of the making of this video and the launch of this course, Nix is actually in transition. A new command called Nix develop is replacing one called Nix Shell. The first thing for you to try in your Plutus Apps directory after you've checked out v1.2.0 is to run 
Nix develop. It might work, but you might also get an error. Personally, Nix develop doesn't quite work on my setup, and so I have to add this GC don't GC equals one in front of my Nix develop in order to get it to work. We'll talk more about why this is the case at live coding, and we're always looking for contributors who can help document some of the finer details of Nix, like this one. You can join the team working on some of these details at Gimbal Labs. On some devices, even the new Nix Develop won't work, so we can use an older version, Nix Shell, to temporarily accomplish the same things. Again, this is a moment of transition, not just for Nix, but for the entire Plutus development ecosystem. So we encourage you to try these approaches, and if none of them work, reach out. We'll be ready to help. Whatever approach you end up taking, even if it works, it will take a little time for Plutus apps to get up and running the first time you use it. That's because Nix will download all of the dependencies of the project onto your device. One of the strengths of Nix is how it manages packages so that we can recreate development environments consistently across devices. Let's jump back to my terminal. You can see I'm in my Plutus apps directory at v1.2.0. And I've run this already, so this step won't take too long. Just a moment right there. So this is your goal to get to this point where Nix develop or Nix shell are working. And then once you get there, as you can see, you'll be able to get up and running quickly the second time and beyond. I'm going to CD out of this directory and into the PPBL 2023 Plutus template that I cloned earlier in this video. Once inside of the PPBL 2023 Plutus template within my Nix develop environment, I can run Cabal REPL. And when I do, if everything works successfully, you should see this message. Okay, two modules loaded, always succeeds dot compiler. This might look familiar from Demeter dot run. Once again, running Cabal REPL will take a little while the first time you do it because all of your dependencies will be installed. But once you complete that step for the first time, you'll be able to quickly get into development mode moving forward. After you run Cabal REPL successfully, you can use the write always succeeds script to write our validator for the first time. I can press Control D to leave the REPL, Control D to leave Plutus apps, and then I can navigate to the PPBL 2023 template where I can see my output folder inside of which there's my new always succeeds dot Plutus script. Let's take a look at it. If you watched the previous lesson about Demeter run, this result should look the same. If you're seeing this for the first time, congratulations. This is your first Plutus script. And if you got to the point of preparing your development environment locally, you're in great shape now. Now, we still haven't talked about what we can do with Plutus scripts yet. That's coming up in Module 102. And before we get to that point, we're going to look at two more ways to write an always succeeds validator in the languages Aiken and Plutus. See you in Lesson 5.